What does it mean to be pro se? Hello, my name is Ryan Canoni, and I'm an attorney with the Tahlequah office. And today I want to talk to you just a little bit about what it means to represent yourself. Now, when most of us think about court, we think about, you know, attorney on this side and attorney on this side battling it out. But you actually have a right to represent yourself in court. So if you can represent yourself, why would you ever pay for an attorney? Well, if you represent yourself, you're held to the same standard, the same uh, ethical standard, the same knowledge standard, the same procedural standards as an attorney. And but what I mean by that is, you know, as an attorney, I have three years of uh, law school. I had to pass an examination. I personally have seven years of experience uh, working with the prosecution office, and now I work for uh, the defense side. So I have a little bit of knowledge that most people normally wouldn't have based on you know, objections, rules of evidence, things of that nature. So what can happen if you represent yourself? Well, one of my first trials as a prosecutor, I was doing a trial with a friend who's also become a defense attorney now. And we had a pro se uh, person. He got into a fight with his brother. It was a domestic assault and battery case. And he refused to get an attorney. He wanted to represent himself. And you know, he went to court and he stood up and he would try to make arguments. And most of them were not allowed under the evidence rules meaning he was making um, hypothetical arguments, doing different things in, in the wrong time, or doing things that just weren't allowed. So we you know, would object because that was our job. And so a lot of what he wanted to present didn't get out there. And in the end, the jury, even though he was a, not a bad guy, he, he, him and his brother got into a fight, and he, of the two of them, was actually a little more uh, easy to get along with. Uh, the jury ended up sentencing him to one month in county jail and a very large fine. I, I don't remember the exact amount, but I think it was either like eight hundred or a thousand dollars. Had he had an attorney, he probably wouldn't have even gone to trial. He probably would have got a plea offer or maybe even got the charges dismissed uh, with an attorney working for him that knew the system and knew uh, what was going to be evidence, what wasn't going to be evidence, what was relevant, what wasn't relevant. So yes, you can go on your own, but you're really taking a risk because you're going into a fight, not only with one hand tied behind your back, but you don't know any of the rules, nor do you know how to use the weapons. So if you need an attorney and you're in a legal matter, if you're in a criminal matter, please give us a call. We can look over your case and try to help. Thank you.